you call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the Appleton Oak. This is Diamond Dave Damone. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight I am so excited. We are starting episode two of The Last of Us, and I haven't been this excited for a TV event, I think, since the early days of Walking Dead. I'm hoping for some more 80s music, maybe some more Depeche Mode. I don't know, but I'm excited. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, this, this show had me hooked from the jump. I mean, nonstop action. I loved it. Can't wait to see what episode two brings. I'm... I'm just taking a ride with my best friends. <laughs> and if you're not down with that, or if you are down with that, we got two words for you. Let's go! I was oh, going to okay. say, this looked like the This Indy was in the, uh, the, the, in the radio. Shot. This was in the radio on yeah. the first episode. Oh, are they going to show us like how it took place across the globe? Mm. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if she's like an official or something. Yeah, they had to come get her. Yep. Ma'am, you need to come with us. Maaf, sudah mengganggu makan siang. Tadi juga sudah mau selesai. Apakah saya ada berbuat suatu kesalahan? Tentu saja tidak. Anda burat, nah. Professor Mycology. Ah, fungus. Oh, I love the start of this, man. Kami butuh bantuan burat nak untuk meneliti spesimen yang telah kami peti. Wow, this is so cool. Like, have they debriefed her at all yet? <laughs> I, I don't think so. I think they just brought her in. Brought today. Her in. So they take a look at this. Ini opio cordyceps. Tapi kenapa menggunakan klorasol untuk mempersiapkan slide? Kami gunakan sebagai persiapan pengambilan sampel dari tubuh manusia, burat nak. Ooh, samples from a human. Okay, so, so that's impossible. Tidak bisa bertahan pada manusia. Well, I, he's like, I know what I saw. <laughs> oh, wow, what are we going to see here? I think we're going to see the, the fungus on the patient. Got bit. Oh, it's from a bite. Okay, so we're seeing... Headshots and bites, you know, kind of similar here. Oh! Oh, no, don't do that. Oh! Ah! Oh! oh that is disgusting! Oh, and it's alive! Oh, it's alive. oh, look at her react! Yeah, full quarantine. Wow! Oh. Jadi kapan ini terjadinya, Pak? Kurang lebih 30 jam yang lalu, Bu. Di pabrik tepun dan gabah di barat kota. Lahan yang sempurna untuk itu. Seorang perempuan yang tiba-tiba melakukan kekerasan menyerang empat orang rekan kerja dan perempuan itu mencoba menyerang dan terpaksa harus ditembak. What about the other people who got bit? Yeah. Lalu bagaimana dengan orang yang di <laughs> dibawa untuk diobservasi? Telah menjadi keharusan sesuai dengan prosedur. Oh. Mereka harus tetap di asuh. Siapa yang Gigit perempuan itu, Pak. Kami tidak tahu, ya. Lalu pekerja yang lain bagaimana? 14 orang hilang. Uh, 14? Kami butuh vaksin. There isn't. It's fungal. It, yeah, it doesn't work. Saya telah menghabiskan waktu hidup saya. Oh, maybe we'll get some answers? Ini. Tidak ada obat. Dan tidak ada vaksin. Jadi apa yang harus kami lakukan? Pray. Run. <laughs> Run. Um, oh, she wants to just take out the whole place. Bom seluruh kota dan seluruh orang yang ada di dalamnya. I assume she means because of the heat. Yeah. Yep. Whoa, whoa. That's it. That's so just set fire to everything and just scorched earth. She realized it evolved. Mm -hmm. So now the only thing really is how to temp. Pada yang bisa antar saya pulang. She knows her time's up too. Wow. What an open. Yeah, there's there's no hope. There's no vaccines. You know, we saw that in the first episode. But yeah, but the, you know the, the crazy thing, what the, the young girl's name? El, what the, the from the Ellie. Episode, yeah, Ellie. Ellie. <clears throat> it's like 
they're trying to get her somewhere. So there's obviously something about her. Well, mm-hmm. it may not be a vaccine or a medicine. Or just something with her blood, maybe. Something, there's something that can be done. That's mm-hmm. the whole point, right? There's something that can be done. The thing that I like about this show, and I don't know if I'll maybe save this for the wrap-up too, that I like is that it's based in some level of reality you know like we saw it with the ants like and the things that take over their brains that's all legit this is real science this is a real science thing it's it's not you know zombies ghosts and monsters and magic and things like that it's something that's got its foot in the door of science there's there's science behind it yeah yeah i wonder if this shot right here is supposed to kind of like represent some something for like mold or something yeah her in the middle of it (laughs) <laughs> oh, hey. Do I look like I'm infected? Show us your arm. What was Marlene doing with an infected kid? I'm not infected. You found me after I was bitten. And she didn't shoot you? Clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> I had a guy test me every day to see if I was getting sick. They'd make me count to ten and hold out my hand and then keep it steady. But you know, I think what really impressed them was the fact that I didn't turn into a fucking monster. Wow. <laughs> It doesn't matter. We're still close to the wall. We sneak her back into the QZ. We find a different way to get the battery. This is our best shot. I'm going to scan her and they'll kill her. Well, better them than us. You need to stop talking about this kid like she's got some kind of life in front of her. It's kind of harsh. Yeah, uh, very. Well, look what the guy's been through, though. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh, a little beef jerky. <laughs> Just a <laughs> dead stare at her. <laughs> she's got herself a Arby's sandwich he's there. chewing on an old piece of beef jerky <laughs> probably until they get it from smugglers guess not you guys <laughs> <laughs> why are you so important to marlon i'm gonna talk to you like you're an adult joel and i aren't good people we're doing this for us because apparently you're worth something so answer my question didn't she already kind of tell him kind of obvious i mean they haven't put it together yet clearly there's a Firefly base camp somewhere out west with doctors. They're working on a cure. Mm-hmm. I've heard this before. And whatever happened to me is it's the, the key, key to find. finding the vaccine. That's what this is. <laughs> this isn't going to end well, Tess. We need to go back. It doesn't matter if she is or she isn't what the Fireflies say. If they believe that she is. That's true. Just get your battery and go. Yep. If she so much as twitches, <laughs> don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just mad because she's got that chicken sandwich. Yep. Daylight, finally, we get to see it. Yeah, we get to see what happened to the city. Yeah, looks different in the daylight, huh? Yes, it does, Tess. Oh, that- look, how, look how the plants are just like slowly taking back over. Look at it all the way back there. They made it so clear for the plant. Yeah. Is this where they bombed? They hit most of the big cities like this. They had to slow the spread somehow. <laughs> Just like what? we saw in the beginning. Yep. So the state house is across there. It's about a 10 minute walk if you could go straight. Long way or short way? It's the long way or the whiff dead way. Well, I have a long way. <laughs> <laughs> Limited information. Now, I hope we get a little bit more info as why the short way was. I mean, she said it, but like what would cause it? Yeah, yeah you know, it's, it's interesting to me because, and look, and I know we're not supposed to compare this to The Walking Dead. But right now, it feels like there isn't any outside threats, you know? Yeah, not. How did you get bit? You know the old mall in the QZ? Wanted to see what it was like. Didn't think there was going to be anything in there, and then one just came at me out of nowhere. <laughs> wow. So it was just you in there alone? Yeah. No. Everyone said the open city was crazy. Swarms of infected running around everywhere. Not exactly like that. So there aren't super infected that explode fungus spores on you? Or ones with split open heads that see in the dark like bats? Oh, what? Split open heads? What was that? Let's keep moving. Oh, it's a frog. Oh, it's a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, you'd be so nervous about any little you cut, any infection, shame. injury. Wait, are we going in there? Well, I, I don't know how to swim. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the way they're, that's, that angle of that shot oh. doesn't give me a lot of confidence. Um. Yes, sir, I would like your finest sweet, please. 
Go! Okay. Let's stop with the play around. What? Are these, was that because of the hand? Or? You okay? Yep. Come on, it wasn't that bad. You try climbing some floors with our knees. See how you feel. <laughs> She's still made out of rubber at 14. Well, when the f did that happen? All right, well, I mean, maybe I could climb up there and open it from the inside. Uh, no, well, I'm the smallest, so it'd be easier for me to get through. Mm -hmm. But you die and you get nothing. You stay. You good up there? A bit of a mess, so I'm gonna need a few minutes. I'd be worried about some rock or some kind of debris coming down. Mm -hmm. Something shifting or moving. Nice knife. Where'd you learn to do that? The circus. <coughs> Where are you from? Texas. What about Tess? Detroit. It's in Michigan. I go to school. I know where Detroit is. Hey, you wonder how much the kids these days learn about everything? How long do infected live? Oh, I thought you went to school. It's a really shitty one. <laughs> There's your answer. <laughs> well, some last about a month or two. But there's others. Been walking around for 20 years. Jesus. You ever kill one? Yeah, I killed lots of them. Was it hard? Like knowing they were people once? Sometimes. Put the gun down, Joe. What now? What? That look. Whoa. That's a lot of... Look at them. They're just all laying there. Oh, they're alive too, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're moving. The last time we were here, they were still deep inside the buildings. Then I guess enough people came through looking for the QZ. We went inside seeking shelter, and that's how they get more and more of the city, bit by bit, year after year. Look at all the yellow that's next to it. Yeah. Look at all that. Okay, so they react to the sun, it looks like. They're connected. Oh. More than you know. They're all connected from yeah. the fungus? Long fibers like wires, some of them stretching over a mile. Mm. You step on a patch of cordyceps in one place, and you can wake a dozen infected from somewhere else. You're not immune from being ripped apart. I'm trying to keep you alive. So we're not going that way. Short way? Museum. And that that shot of everyone kind of reminded me of maggots. Oh, yep, of all the, all the creatures on the ground. Oh, yeah, when they're all like squirming on top of each yeah. other. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's growing everywhere. Isn't that part of the cordyceps? Yeah, I, I assume that's done because it was oh, dust. Uh, could mean they're all finally dead in there. Could. Yeah, so the sun must dry them out or something. That's why they were trying to avoid it. Oh, this is... I'm trying to look at all the walls and everything. Yeah. Just yeah. everywhere. Cooked. Oh, shit. Ooh, that's a fresh one. Maybe he was a dead outside. I don't hear him. Who would you hear? Oh, 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 this intensity. He is great. That didn't look good. Uh, so Did the staircase so just kind of lower a little bit? Yeah, I think the stairs are collapsing. Whoa. Well, that seems pretty clear up there. Huh? That's interesting that there's nothing in there. Yeah. It's totally clean. Oh, are we gonna finally get one? Oh, oh, they did the. I just want to make any noise. Ah. Uh. Oh, look at that thing. So they... Oh, oh what the hell? Holy oh. shit. Oh, we got a bunch of them. Brain like split out of the head? Yeah. Oh, what the f... Look at that. Oh, just the, the pure silence that he has to do right yeah. now to, to make the switch. <laughs> Oh, Look at what the hell? Wow. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> yeah. 
<gasps> Jeez! Oh, oh that is got nasty. The stuff coming out of its mouth. Oh, wow. Oh, it's in the side of its head. Oh, it's a hatchet from the museum. Boom. I love how they gave us a quick focus right there yeah. on that. You know, it's like when it had the hatchet, it's like it uh, deactivated its senses and it, it couldn't, like, operate. What the? It's like a, almost looks like a mushroom, like, fungus growing outside the head. It's like the br yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. I didn't shit my pants. <laughs> you kidding me? Bit or just scratched or what? I think she got scratched. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So it wasn't a bite mark. It yeah. looked like like a puncture wound almost. That was scary. This is wood. <laughs> no problem with heights. Wait there. Give us a minute. I got it. I got it. First bite didn't take. Don't worry about the sick. You just take the good news. I need to think for once, maybe we could actually win. Do you think she got did, bit? I was just going to say, did she get bit? Is it everything you hoped for? Jerry's still out. Come on, let's get there before it's dark. Oh, you think she got, like, bit in the ankle? And that's why she was, like, hobbling on it, and she said it was just sprained? Yeah, and maybe that's why she wanted to tape it up and kind of has a, a let's-go attitude. Love that shot. Not going anywhere in those cars. <laughs> Does that blood look a little fresh? Does that look Ooh. like oh, holes oh, in the gas oh, tank? Oh, yeah. That's a bold, bold move. Yeah. They went inside. Oh, gee. Now yeah. it's just... Wow. What happened to these guys? Who took them out? Ugh. Ugh. That bit. The healthy ones fought the sick ones. Everyone lost. Tess, what are you doing? So, can you help me? No. We are going home. This is not my f***ing home. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Totally get it. Got a generator right there? Yep. Our luck had to run out sooner or later. She's infected. Show me. Uh, oh, it wasn't the angle. No. This is real. Don't just be real. Oh, she's, oh, she's starting to. She's starting to go. Oh, I can't. They won't take her. They're they not going to take they her. Because you'll convince them. This is your chance. You keep her alive, and you said everything right. Oh, oh look at that. It's, is it going to tell the others? Yep. They're all connected. Oh, look at that. It's growing out of, like, the head. It's going to be a oh, horde. What the hell? Yep, they know right where to go, to. How many? All of them. Oh, Ready my me. God. She's going to burn the place. Oh, yeah. I'd, I'd maybe <laughs> grab a few of them. I was just going to say, I'd save a few of those. Wow, not even a goodbye, just gone. Just gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Tess, come on. Oh, come on, this is nerve-wracking here. Oh, she didn't get it. Oh, uh, yuck. Oh, why oh. is she just... Oh. Uh. oh, good. Oh. Oh my! Oh, that was disgusting, man. So did she just have to sit there and like play it cool so the thing wouldn't freak out? I don't know. Just wasn't enough time for supplies. Nope. <laughs> oh wow! Look at that shot. Huh. Is that, is that going to be it already? Is that the that was the oh, fastest what? fifty minutes? What? I don't understand how it goes so fast. Wow! There's no way. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's like we hit a wormhole or no something. Way. Oh wow! Unbelievable. 
unbelievable. Go ahead, Quinn. Yeah, like so wow. we're obviously going to avoid uh, – I've made at least a, a point, and I think the other guys have too, where we do not watch the uh, next week's episode type thing. We stay away from everything so we can come in fresh. But this episode was really cool. We had the intro uh, in Indonesia and kind of saw how they kind of handled it. And they, their plan was, hey, there is no cure. We just got to firebomb the whole city and, and hope that that takes it out. And they kind of knew the, the hopelessness in that plan. Uh, but... You know, it's just, it's a situation where there was, there was nothing else they can do. Um, I am really, really enjoying the characters of Joel and Ellie and what we got of Tess. I just, I really like how they portrayed them. I, I like how the actors, uh, showed their characters kind of come through and everything they did. It, it, I feel like it's, it, it just feels so different than anything I've been watching lately or stuff we've seen for the channel. So I really enjoyed the characters, uh, the way they acted. I like Ellie being kind of a little smart ass with stuff. Of course, you're going to have that. She's a 14 year old, right? Um, I, I talked about the sets and how much I liked the attention to detail that they have. I mean, all the little things like, you know, Joel's clothes being worn down, everybody kind of beat up the, even, uh, right down. If you noticed on his rifle, how it's all kind of worn away and shows it's been used. I mean, uh, with all the, uh, the paint and things kind of worn away. I like that. And just the attention to detail they put on this show is incredible. And I like how, they showed in the city how quickly nature can take back over. Again, this is about 20 years and things are just kind of, it's all going back and kind of getting reclaimed. There's been a number of shows on TV, like on the History Channel, they talk about like what would happen if society just stopped. How long would it take for the plant life and things to kind of take back over? So I thought that was a real, really cool touch uh, that they did in this episode. And uh, I know the one thing that it definitely makes me feel, and I think Oak's probably the same way, when you watch a show like this that's based off a video game, I almost feel like I'm playing the video game as I'm watching. I'm like, oh, wait, watch out for that. Don't do not do that. That's risky. You better grab that. That might be important because in this world, any little twist of the ankle, cut, uh, Joel's got his hand all busted up, any little thing like that is going to be such a huge inconvenience uh, and, and uh, potentially a huge problem down the road. So I'm like getting anxiety, like when they're walking around all the all the rusty metal and, and the steps and, you know, if, if a rock gives way, you could twist your ankle like we saw with Tess. So, uh, man, it's just anxiety like level 10 every time I watch this. I don't know this is gonna sound kind of cliche, but that was like the fastest like hour of all time ever, <laughs> and it was like I think we said that last week too. Like, yeah, wait, big what? One. It's, it's over. Um, yeah, there's there's so much about this show that I love, as Mason Quinn had mentioned, the attention to detail in the sets, and again, giving us a look at what a, a post apocalyptic city might look like after 20 years with the grow over and some of the buildings have tipped over, and uh, and things like that. We see. Um, various stages of uh you know what, what is there a like name that they decay, call it? i guess because they get the, I, I and walking dead we have walkers biters <laughs> uh toe toe tags. Tags. Yeah, so tags. stupid sickies <laughs> yeah. you know, i, I, I just, feel I, like i need to go with creatures for now yeah, I, guess. I, I know but i'm but, gonna let you guys kind of experience so the, the as creatures they get that we see in like various stages of decomposition of course the museum you know, this one's bone dry and the cordyceps are all dried out and then you have them that are still coming and it almost looked like a brain was split out of the head, mm -hmm. but then it looked like it was layers like you might see with mushrooms. Yeah, and that, that was, was creepy. It was something totally different than what we've seen before. And I have, a, I have to imagine like from a creative standpoint, um, and, and, and Diamond Dave, I won't you know get too much into it, but I don't know if the video game had the 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 kind of depiction of what they look like and they were going off the game or if this is something created of course I'm just gonna go back to it you know of course with the walking dead it was like okay what would a, a human look like if they were decomposing mm -hmm. right but this is not that it's something totally different so yeah. on the creative side of how they look in different stages of whatever it is that they've gone through i think is really creative um there's a such a sense of desperation mm -hmm. you know and, and now that i think they know that she's got something about her that's very unique that could be a potential cure that sense of desperation just goes through the roof of course we taught saw tess uh sacrifice herself to help to help save them mm -hmm. but um i really really have high hopes for this show they've delivered the first two episodes um you know this one was just kind of uh 
hey, look, we've gotten a few hundred yards and look at what challenges like mm -hmm. the city provides. Every yeah. turn of the corner is danger. Yeah. And the fact that they're all connected and they have like a yeah. hive mind type brain. That is something is like totally trippy. new. You know, of course, uh, you know, when other shows like they're, they're sensitive to noise and fire and stuff like that. So you can draw a crowd from outside source. But the concept of the cordyceps and literally where you walk could set off a whole group of these things to come get you. Um, it's going to be interesting. I'm really curious to see what happens when they get out of the city, if travel becomes easier or if they start running into more of a human component. Because this episode, we didn't see danger from a human component, yeah. but you have to imagine that's yet to come. Yeah, that's a great point, Oak. I'm wondering, you know, will the, the infection or the, uh, the the fungus, will it spread only in highly uh, human concentrated areas? Or like once you get to Wyoming, is there like hardly anything out there? And then the threat is maybe people. Who knows? Yeah, uh, for mine, I'm going to try real hard in, in my part of the reviews is to not compare too much to the game because this, is, again, I came in prepared knowing that this is going to be TV adaptation, which I have the expectation that things are going to get enhanced, taken away, added to. So that's for, for me. Uh, I want to start off with that intro, that cold open they did with starting us in Indonesia. That was very, very cool uh, for them to swing back from the radio when we heard when they were eating breakfast yep. to swing back into this one and give us a front row seat uh that uh, that uh security guard that actor the way he was selling his face the entire time i thought was just was awesome really he had minimal dialogue but his face and his eyes told a much bigger story fantastic uh for that opening uh as far i'll use your words host creatures I know what they are, but not, I want these guys to experience it on their own. Uh, it was great. It's one thing seen in the game, mm -hmm. but it's another thing now seeing it in uh, the TV world where it, it's like, oh, shit, that's what, <laughs> what, it, what it could look like that. Yeah. I mean, they did a really good job on the uh, aesthetics here uh, for these actors to portray this. A phenomenal job uh, with uh, the end here with Tess. <sighs> seeing the uh, the tentacles what are, i can't remember the yeah. name right now because i'm my head my brain is going 100 miles an hour but just the way they shot that in slow-mo for you just to just get like all grossed out it, it was do it to get the lighter yeah, to, get the, to keep everything calm down yeah. oh god they yeah i love that they did that because the <laughs> the slow how slow they went in and they they let that sit there for just a couple seconds so you could see it go in Pass. so gross but yeah. so awesome um, again, I, two episodes in and my expectations are just blown away from this. I, I again, I, I'm curious to see what you guys think, uh, for these, at least this episode. Uh, hats off to the creator yeah. for everyone involved in this so far. I love how they keep us guessing with like the different theories. Like they showed the little bit of like the sun coming in and how the creatures kind of moved. And then, uh, it, it you know, it showed how they communicate with each other. And I thought maybe when Tess was already infected, that maybe the monsters, creatures would just kind of bypass her, almost like a World War Z kind of thing, where like they would just go right past her. So it's like, they really keep you guessing on all the different theories that the creatures have. Yeah, some of these guys touched on that I did like is the going back to Indonesia in the opening scene. And I think it was just enough to really imply that this was a global event because sometimes with programs like this programs shows movies whatever you wonder like is it like this in other countries or what you know or what where is yeah. this or what if you <laughs> what if you're on an island or something yeah. somewhere you know so Mongolia. you you always if they're in Mongolia you know you always wonder whether <laughs> you know this is happening in other parts of the world um, and you know that was just enough to say hey you know and, and then of course her idea was like look you got to uh you got to you know drop so city. quick about it and you then know? we saw drop these that, that, drop bees that, that, <laughs> dropping bees <laughs> dropping bees <laughs> and that's what they did in the in the US they were yep. showing like this is where that was where they moment. dropped that was the bees. Just an intense so moment. Like, <clears throat> and when they, she said in Indonesia you were like oh my god like that's intense and then it was like well that's that's what they did. I, yep. I imagine like getting rid of the, you know, densely populated areas the best you can would probably be the best way to contain the, the spread. But man, imagine having to make that call. And that's just, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> All right, well, guys, that wraps it up for us here. For the Apple to no, for Phenomenal. Diamond Dave Damone, I'm Mason Quinn. This has been The Last of Us, and you know you're going to see us right back here next week. We'll see you.